P.S. I Love You 2004, a novel by Irish author Cecilia Hearn, tells the story of a young widow who receives a series of letters written by her late husband before his death, these letters help her through her grief, compelling her to embark on a series of fun and often funny adventures. P.S. I Love You is ultimately a tale of love and marriage, death and survival, loss and recovery, and the eternal bond that can unite two people, even after one of them has passed away. It is also about the very human and awkward experience of moving forward alone after the death of a soulmate. Holly Kennedy holds the sweater of her husband Jerry Clark. Jerry has just died at the age of 30 from a brain tumor. Holly smells his sweater to remind her of his scent and presence. But as soon as she does, the reality of her loss hits her, and she feels as if she is going to be sick. Holly cannot imagine a life without Jerry, who had been her junior high sweetheart and her one constant source of love and strength for more than 15 years. Holly spends her days alone, wandering from room to room inside the home she had shared with Jerry. Consumed with loss, her sleep is fitful, and she rarely leaves the house. One day, her mother, Elizabeth, calls her to check in. Elizabeth has received a large envelope addressed to Holly, Holly assumes it is just another sympathy card. Her mother's comment that the words the list are written on the top of the envelope shocks Holly. She suddenly knows what the envelope contains and who it is from. She flashes back to a scene from her past with Jerry. When he jokes that someday he might not be around to do the little things like turn off the bedroom light before bed, Holly laughingly suggests he write her a list of things to do and leave it in his will. It started as a joke, but now, Holly knows, he followed through, sending the list to her mother before he passed away. After a visit with her best friend, Sharon McCarthy, Holly decides to retrieve the envelope from her mother. She discovers that it is not really an envelope, but a package with no return address. Above the main address are the words the list. She opens the package. On top is a letter in which Jerry assures Holly that she will be able to go on after his death and that she should open and follow the directions inside each small envelope, only on the date written on the front of each one. The package contains 10 small envelopes labeled with the months March through December. This month's envelope tells her to buy a bedside lamp, so she doesn't have to get out of her cozy bed every night to shut off the bedroom light switch. This letter, like all subsequent ones, ends with the words, P.S., I love you. For the next nine months, Holly looks forward to opening Jerry's letters. She, Sharon, and Sharon's husband, John, marvel at Jerry's ability to put this project together. He had been so weak and ill toward the end of his life, it must have required a Herculean effort. In April, Jerry instructs Holly to buy a smart new outfit because she will need it in time for next month's letter. In May, he tells her to put on her new outfit to face one of her biggest fears, singing Carrick Live on stage. In June, he asks her to get rid of his belongings, I'm already here always wrapping my arms around you, he writes. In July, he wishes her a good holiday, which she interprets as an order to get ready to go on vacation. In August, he sends her on vacation to Spain for a week with her friends. In September, Jerry advises Holly who has a hard time finding a job she likes to get a career she finds fulfilling. In October, he sends her sunflowers with the instructions to plant more in order to brighten the dark October days you hate most. In November, he encourages her to start dating. Finally, in December, he gives his permission for her to fall in love again. Throughout these letters, buoyed by Jerry's love and guidance, Holly emerges from the shell she has built around herself. She starts gradually by shopping for an outfit that will get her out of the blue jeans and Jerry's shirts combination she's been living in. The letters introduce more and more action and engagement, providing the springboard for Holly to re-enter life once again. In the end, she doesn't feel abandoned by Jerry or alone and single at a vulnerable time. She feels reconnected to all the amazing things in her life, her friends, her family, her newfound career in magazine advertising and the eternal memory of one incredible man. P.S. I Love You was a number one bestseller in the United States, Ireland, and several other countries. It was made into a hit movie in 2007, starring Hilary Swank as Holly and Gerard Butler as Jerry. Ahern wrote a sequel, titled Postscript, released in the United Kingdom in 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.